Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. Right, let's get into it. New game. Right, as far as I know, because it's a physics game, you've got to get the steam, uh, which comes on the kettle, uh, into the plant pot as water. Fantastic. So, using the metal girders, which steam will condense into water. Let's arrange them there. We'll see. Uh, right, let's drag that across. And immediately, you see, it's now interrupting the flow of the steam and falling as uh, droplets of water into the wrong place and you can adjust it left uh, you know up and down and adjust it around the screen to fit um, so technically the first level should be fairly easy let's have a look connect me along to make a kind of a mid-air conduit oh and the water's dripping into the uh, the flower it's not the most efficient way and um, there's probably better ways to do it but there you go it's, it's getting the job done and level one done there you go Ah, more challenging, uh, brickwork. So, yeah, let's just place them there. These ones are made out of wood. These are out of wood, so... Um, yeah, wood, it doesn't condense with wood, so let's use the wooden ones to... move the steam along to the wall. Yeah, okay. Well, presumably, once it reaches the wall, it'll cool down and condense into uh, water he says just trying to get the steam to move to ah yes look it's hitting the wall and dropping down as uh, moisture into the plant yeah there you go that was actually fairly straightforward oh no I'm speaking too soon hmm. move it a bit further up Uh, yeah, it's doing it now, hopefully. See, there's probably better ways to do it, and uh, yeah, there probably will be. Right. So we've got metal ones and wooden ones. Remember, the water will condense on the uh, the steel beams, and then just or just move along a continuous steam on the wooden ones. Now this is uh, now we've got two plants. And a way to distribute the steam to both plants. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, run it across the top. Okay, okay. Well, there's some going in, but it ain't going to... Uh, it's not going to revive both plants doing it like this. Hmm. Getting more challenging. Yeah, okay. Now, you see, I'm trying to be clever now. I'm trying to get the uh, the steam to form into kind of a, a T-shape to go to both at the same time, but I'm going to have to move that one down there. Yeah. Okay. Almost, almost. We're going to get there. And... We've still got to sort this one out. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, right, okay. Get to wall in there. It's a bit of a mess, is this one, but we're going to get there, I think. Yep. Fantastic. And there you go. That one done. This seems really far straightforward. But it's a bit higher up. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop it there so I'm not spoiling any more uh, anyone's plays. You got to the the fourth level, so uh, we'll call that it for this.
think Nelly's Rooftop Garden is a wonderful little program, a great educational tool and a great example of what can be achieved by using Python. It has great potential to help your children learn logic, physics and planning and I think it's fantastic. Another hidden gem for FreeBSD.